हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे आई बी डिस्कसिंग यू वन ऑफ द वेरी सिंपल नाइस एंड यू कैन से इम्पॉर्टेंट डिकम्पोजिशन ऑफ अ स्क्वेर मेट्रिक्स आई एम टू सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू दैट गिवन अ मेट्रिक्स ए यू कैन ऑलवेज राइट डाउन दैट मेट्रिक्स एज अ सम ऑफ अ सिमेट्रिक मेट्रिक्स एंड अ स्क्यू सिमेट्रिक मेट्रिक्स यू कैन ऑलवेज डू दैट मोर ओवर दिस डिकम्पोजिशन is a unique decomposition if you know this symbol then whenever we have uniqueness we write this as a symbol but if you don't know it's fine now you know so this decomposition is a unique decomposition that means what if i am writing a matrix as a sum of a symmetric and skew symmetric matrix and suppose you are also writing the same matrix as a sum of a symmetric and skew symmetric matrix then my symmetric matrix and your symmetric matrix has to be same my skew symmetric matrix your skew symmetric matrix has to be same okay so therefore you cannot have two different different decomposition for the same matrix in terms of symmetric and skew symmetric okay so these are the two things that i am going to tell you today so first let's go for the existence part existence part as in first let's try to see can we actually write a as a sum of a symmetric and skew symmetric answer is yes okay but before that let me quickly recall when you say a square matrix is a uh, is a symmetric matrix so if you have a matrix a you take the transpose of that matrix and the transpose and a both are same then we call it as a symmetric matrix and once you have a matrix a square matrix and when you take the transpose then that is equal to minus of a then we call it as a skew symmetric matrix i have talked more about symmetric and skew symmetric in my previous lecture uh, link is there in the description if you have missed that lecture i will suggest you to please look that lecture on symmetric and skew symmetric matrix okay so we know what are symmetric and skew symmetric matrix okay cool so now we have a matrix a now i can rewrite this as a plus a transpose by 2 plus a minus a transpose by 2 i can always do that right i can add two matrices not a problem i can subtract two matrices not a problem i can divide by 2 it's a non zero we are in real numbers so i can divide by 2 so no problem so if you see your right hand side if i add numerator a transpose a transpose goes away a plus a is 2a and the 2 and 2 gets cancelled so we have a equal to a so we can do this writing okay now let me call this matrix as b matrix and let me call this matrix as c matrix okay now i will prove that b and c are symmetric and skew symmetric matrix respectively this also i have proved in my last lecture when you will see the link you will come to know but then just roughly let me tell you about b c for c you can see my previous lecture so now i want to show that my b is a symmetric matrix that means what i want to show b transpose is equal to b okay but what is x plus y the whole transpose transpose behave very nicely transpose simply comes inside so this is nothing but a transpose plus a transpose 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 of 2 is 2 only because 2 is a real number okay and this is nothing but a transpose plus a by 2 and this is nothing but my b matrix again so therefore b is a symmetric matrix again you can prove in a similar way that your c is a skew symmetric matrix if you get stuck you can ask me in the comment section i will post the answer there as well okay so i am able to write my matrix a as a sum of a symmetric and skew symmetric matrix and here is the proof okay great so now i mean this was a theoretical part but uh, unless and until you see an example you won't feel nice right examples always make you feel happy so let's try to do an example suppose if i give you a very simple matrix say 1 2 3 4 and now the question now the question is write down this matrix as a sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix so what was the symmetric part this was the symmetric part so you call b as 1 by 2 a plus a transpose by 2 so this is my a what is my transpose you interchange rows and columns This is what my a plus a transpose is. So what is this? One plus one two, two plus three five, three plus two five, four plus four is eight. So this is my b part. And now the next is what is c? Half into 
what is the question i mean what is the c a minus a transpose by 2 so this is nothing but 1 2 3 4 and when you do the subtraction the diagonal entries are same as i told in the last lecture when you take the transpose diagonal entries do not change the position and here you have minus 1 and 1 so this is my b matrix this is my c matrix no need to check their symmetric as q symmetric because we already proved just now so we found b and we found c now question is is my b plus c actually equal to a answer is yes and you can check that actually we proved over here but let's verify with this example as well so this was my b matrix and this is my c matrix now if i add them let me write 1 by 2 as it is now let's add 2 plus 0 2 5 minus 1 4 5 plus 1 6 8 plus 0 is 8 and when i divide by 2 i get 1 2 3 4 so see we, we got a eventually so you can always write your matrix as a sum of a symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix isn't that beautiful yes so okay now let me give you homework what you do is you try for a 3 cross 3 matrix so take 3 cross 3 matrix 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 try to write down this matrix as a sum of a symmetric and skew symmetric matrix and if possible post the answer in the comment section okay so that was about the decomposition and uh, at the start i told you that this decomposition is a unique decomposition so let's try to prove the uniqueness part okay so uh, what we have i have that a is equal to a transpose by 2 plus a minus a transpose by 2 so i have this decomposition this is my decomposition i have this now suppose when you do suppose you are doing this as p plus q so you also you are also getting a decomposition where your p is what your p is a symmetric matrix and your q is what it's a skew symmetric matrix now what i want to prove i want to prove that your p has to be this and your q has to be this that's what we want to prove okay so how to prove so let me call this as equation one and now let's take the transpose so what is a transpose it is p plus q the whole transpose which is nothing but p transpose plus q transpose and let me call this as my equation two now if i add equation one and two what do i have i have a plus a transpose equals p plus q plus p transpose plus q transpose but what is p transpose it is p so this is p plus q plus p and what is q transpose it is minus q q minus q goes away so what i have a plus a transpose equal to p plus p is how much two times p so you divide by two so your p is nothing but this itself you are not getting anything new you are eventually getting the same thing so my and your symmetric matrix is same will our skew symmetric matrix be also be same answer is yes so now if i subtract equation one and two so here i'll be having minus sign but my p transpose is nothing but p so minus and this goes away and what is q transpose it is minus q so this is nothing but q plus q ignore this so i have q plus q so a minus a transpose equals q plus q therefore a minus a transpose upon 2 is nothing but q so therefore your q and my skew symmetric part both are c okay and therefore the decomposition is a unique decomposition so i hope you understood the decomposition if yes do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you